good morning glory be to god the king of king the lord of lord let's pray prayer of thanksgiving this morning faithful god thank you for your grace thank you for your love your kindness how you brought us this far it is not because of our perfection but you made our imperfection to be perfect in you may your name be praised forevermore amen by the grace of god this morning we will be learning a new thing the gospel of truth this morning i want to look at a topic titled the resurrection power the resurrection power our test is taken from matthew chapter 22 verse 23 and that's where we are reading from the same day came to him the sadducees could say that there is no resurrection and ask him the resurrection power the power of his resurrection the power in the resurrection the power that lies in resurrection the resurrection is a major topic or a theme of the new testament of the 13th simon in the book of acts 11 stressed or implies the resurrection and get this to understand the power of the resurrection we must first have to understand how god made us we consist of three parts spirit soul and body first thessalonians 5 23 a fallen human being is spiritually dead separated from god and their soul is darkened by sin a born again believer is spiritually alive reunited with god and their soul is being transformed by the light of god's word spirit and soul are immortal so the belief will die physically and their spirit and so we go to heaven why the unbeliever will die physically and go to hell the body of both the believer and the unbeliever are mortal as death every person's body goes through the decomposition process and return to its original elements as the resurrection all departed spirit soul will be cut forth from either heaven or hell. God will supernaturally rise, reassemble, and reunite the material elements of their body with their spirit struck souls. Thus, they will completely reconstitute, completely reconstituted by God's spirit, souls, and body everyone will be resurrected some to eternal life with god in heaven and some to eternal damnation in the lake of fire the hope of the believer is the resurrection unto eternal life with god your natural earthly corrupt body will be raised and factioned into heavenly glory immortal body this is the completion of everything that has been purchased for us by the blood of Jesus. The transformation from his physical condition to our glorified body will be a huge difference, but the power of God can accomplish it easily. Praise the living God. If the Lord can walk the miracle of resurrection then surely he can heal your body and free you from other bondages as you pray for your miracle today let the hope of resurrection build your faith believe in the resurrection if he can make it possible then he can do it for you this time hang on his word 
challenge God with his word. Heaven and earth will pass away, just as the Bible said. He said, you see my word, a drop of it, a little of it will not part. Why? Because God honor his word even more than himself. I pray that even as we believe in the resurrection power, that everything will continue to work effectively and efficiently in our life in the name of Jesus. God proficiency will be unveiled to us all in the name of Jesus. By his grace, let's always share the gospel of peace to people. The end is near. Let's tell people on your Facebook, on WhatsApp, tell people about Jesus. Please let's also share this word to other persons. We can connect with my YouTube channel on Joshua Software where you can watch other video that you or audio you might have missed in my previous exhortation moments. I want you to know that God is in control and surely he will take us to our destination in Jesus name I remember humble self don't forget to join me tomorrow for another exhortation till then stay blessed Christ Jesus Amen